don't be the ones to carry gun don't be the ones to carry woods don't be the ones to cross the road as i'm talking to you the loot that will be lost the remaining half of this year has not been recorded i'm seeing youths many of them i can tell you many of them losing their lives and government of nigeria we are about to lose a lot in the medical lines but as i'm talking to you many of them are planning to leave doctors many are planning to leave this country and if it will get to a point if america can't take them again uk can't take them again even ghana canada eh, cameroon the list of countries they will prefer they go to those countries it is getting to a point where you can't even see a doctor in this country a nurse and it's the quacks that will be remaining there is a strange illness i talked about second to the last the video about what right now is another mind-blowing prophecy from prophet mark miracle in this prophecy he has revealed some dangerous things that will soon be happening in nigeria from this 2024 to 2025 they are very serious and i need you to pay serious attention to them now we'll not waste your time i'll just like watch the video and listen to everything pastor mark miracle have said will be happening in nigeria please don't forget share this video on social media platform share with your friends and loved ones when i ask us to share our videos across all social media platform is so that other people may will be aware of what god is saying concerning our nation nigeria so they can also also join us to pray and also prepare for what is coming because some of these prophecies are what hearing they are not the the type of prophecy that you hear and keep to yourself they are prophecies that when you hear you alert other people you let other people know of it so that they can either join us to pray share also to other people and also take precaution and also prepare for whatever it is that wants to happen and whatever it is that is coming please don't keep this to yourself share it on all social media platform and don't forget like the video also and drop a comment by doing this you trigger the youtube algorithm to continue to recommend and push this video to more people god bless you as you do so watch this video there are things that will happen in the few days ahead that god released and revealed to me but before i tell you these things that we must pray about because we need to pray about them seriously seriously we need to pray about them i can tell you there are two things that happened in the past two let's say 14 days or seven days that we talked about on this altar we couldn't get the video ready because of uh, the things that are happening in the new site we're about to relocate to even media everybody is there working so they couldn't cut the video to keep but i know that you remember the day we talked about flood on this altar and we said lagos clean although this kind of flood that came is not is more than cleaning even though you cleaned that flood is too mighty and i said that is not the, the main flood coming i still repeat again the flood coming in 2025 people will shout this is critical but you were here in church when we said flood is coming in lagos yes, we sir. said it a sunday we said it another sunday we said it three times i can remember on the youtube there you can check them we said flood is coming and if you check very well this is not even almost the time it used to come then i told them that there is something coming 2025 i want to repeat again the flood coming in 2025 we are all here together you will see it the government of nigeria better do what they need to do i am telling you the truth because come 2025 i see people trooping into government houses shoot us or you take it or you take, whether you like it or not i will tell you the truth governors aso rocks we are here because they will want to use that place as the place of a uh, escape i am passing the message now to government what is coming 2025 the flood you see places that never used to have flood and this 2025 message i've been sharing it since 2023 2025 talked about it. i said get ready for 2025 and flood is coming this year but it's greeting to what is coming by 2025 we are getting to 2025 you will see what i'm telling you one coming this it will come up but it's greeting because i saw people i saying what what is this may god deliver this nation amen, amen. may god deliver this nation amen. amen three weeks ago let me say a month ago i said i saw the governor of river state seated like this in his office and saying god if you can do this one again how many of us were in church like i told you we are so busy we can't get to the 
archives to get the video. I said, I saw the governor like this and telling God, if you can do it again. Did you hear the judgment yesterday? I've been there before yesterday. And I can tell you, in that camp, they are praying that God should do it again. But there is one thing God told me that he has is not done with river states god will intervene amen god will intervene amen. amen i said god will intervene amen god will intervene amen. amen these are the things that we've been talking about and it's coming to pass i used to tell people and i keep on saying it prophecies are not meant to scare you prophecies are meant to direct you on how to pray a young lady we had at this month july i had or june i had one-on-one -on -one encounter prayers with people from online about 10 persons we did something like that on february and i told the young lady get ready for june july there's a problem coming your way maybe those kind of message they see it like pastor just talk because words and time out few days ago last two days message me that there is a serious police case from the workplace out of accusation and from her voice say pastor you want me february whenever prophecies come to you it is not to scare you am i speaking to somebody now yes, yes sir it's not meant to scare you it's meant to direct you on how to pray on how to do what break ondo government must be prayerful ondo capital of ondo is akure right because i see a political torso about to rise in ondo that will displace both the government and both citizens and as i'm speaking lagos river states by yes sir i see army trooping in now i have to call names of the states so that they must be prayerful river state may god give our governor wisdom amen oh the army is not coming to shoot they are coming to maintain peace wherever you see army release they want to maintain peace am i so you don't get scared yes. but may god not allow it degenerate to that level yes where army will enter the states river states because they are supposed to be in borders and keep his, uh, peace with other countries but by the time they get into a state, it has got into a state of El Dorado, according to our prophetic uh, luminary and uh, Patrick, uh, Mr. Patrick. Uh, say economic El Dorado. Uh, I don't know what the meaning of that. Uh, River State, Bayesa, Lagos State. Be prayerful. And I want to tell the youths of Nigeria, I see many youths losing their life before this year is over. And there are three ways I see them losing their lives. So you will not get entangled with any of these ways. Number one, there is going to be political uprising in different quarters of the nation. Because the cost of food, price of food, cost of living, and some political unrest that may arise, youths may see these angles as the most vibrant angles they can get involved, get things happen. You know, happening, you know, people when they see things happening, they say, with with this that for us no they do anything oh boy job they waiting be the job now hey hey they shout in placard youths of nigeria <laughs> tomorrow leaders of tomorrow leaders of tomorrow god says i should tell you be patient when you see these things don't be the ones to carry gun don't be the ones to carry woods don't be the ones to cross the road as i'm talking to you the youths that will be lost the remaining half of this year has not been recorded so this is a prophetic warning be careful where you see crowd political this political bruhahas don't get involved am i speaking to somebody now a uh, pastor is our nation if we don't go out who will build it for us you have a better place to build it from from your news go and pray and when election come make sure you campaign for the right person and vote the right person don't go and be blocking roads i'm seeing you many of them i can tell you many of them losing their lives There is a strange illness I talked about. Second to the last. It came as uh, what did they call it again? There is the cholera. There is an advanced one coming. This one came, it couldn't do anything. But the devil is not happy. A very advanced form of sickness coming. But it will not kill you. Amen. It will not kill me. Amen. Amen. It will not kill our children. Amen. Amen. So be careful the water your children drink. Be careful how you walk on that ring. This is a church that is well fully loaded with wisdom nuggets, spiritual teachings, and prophetic guidelines. So you shouldn't be falling into problems anyhow. 
Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. Wait, before I continue watching the video, please do me a favor. Share the video right now on all social media platforms. Share with your friends and love. Now, don't forget, like the video and drop a comment. By doing this, you trigger the YouTube algorithm to continue to recommend the video and push it to more people so that they will be aware of what is coming and what God is saying concerning our nation. God bless you as you do so. Keep watching the video. Your son is here. That's your son. Where's your son? More grace. You will not lose that son. Amen. Bring that son on the altar. You won't lose that son. Amen. I want to use his son as a point of contact to Raphael. Where is he? He's not around. But this prayer is also to him. I'm not done with my prophecies, but God says I should pray for him. comes on this altar and gets their destinies altered mm. i decree that i carried you on this altar god who revealed this scatter every form of sickness that the devil wants to wire to you amen you will not die untimely amen you will not die untimely yeah. amen you will not die untimely amen no sickness will take you amen, amen. that's your environment you need to use oil in your environment are you ready now get anointing oil we we'll use it to bless your environment hold him so that we are anointing your compound is there a pussy cat around your compound i used to see one when i passed there in the evening there is something evil in your compound and it's not far from somebody you told me about i was shouting about something it's just the wisdom message hear me now just get oil and run the center of your house the effect will go around no evil will attack you amen your source of income will not cut short again amen god will lift you amen to another level amen you see this is your husband he's a great man mm. god will lift you to another level amen. amen take this god will lift you to another level amen i Pray from the depth of my heart. Jesus. God will lift you to another level. Amen. God sees your heart. Amen. And He will lift you. Amen. Greater. Amen. Higher. Amen. Amen. God will lift you. Amen. Amen. As I spoke in social pain. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Finally, God bless you. nurses and doctors from Nigeria. They may plan to go on strike. They may plan to do anything the medical lines. But God says I should warn them they should not try that. God instituted them to save life. We know that the government is not trying. We know that things are not well. This sector wants to go on strike. This other sector wants to go on strike. God released a prophetic message to them. They should not try it. Because this season, you will see cases upon cases. Cases upon cases, and if doctors are not on seats, uh, will it be very pleasant to hear? Not pleasant to hear. Doctors, don't try it. And government of Nigeria, we are about to lose a lot in the medical lines. As I'm talking to you, many of them are planning to leave. Doctors, many are planning to leave this country. And if it will get to a point, if America can't take them again, UK can't take them again, even Ghana, Ghana uh, Cameroon, the list of countries they will prefer they go to those countries it is getting to a point where you can't even see a doctor in this country a nurse and it's quacks that will be remaining the country is getting to that level so the doctor the, the government must sit up the government must do what sit up let them sit up and do the needful and god will bless us in the name of jesus amen now come monday tuesday wednesday how many of you have been fasting did you fast in the last fasting? Yes, sir. Did you fast? Yes, sir. This Monday, this Tuesday, and this Wednesday is a fast for appreciation. God says we must appreciate Him. Not every time, ask, ask, ask. 
it is a fasting for appreciation for multiplication on monday we are fasting to tell him thank you on tuesday we are fasting to tell him thank you on wednesday we are fasting to tell him thank, thank you. you then on wednesday we'll close the fast with appreciation too and the scripture we are using is psalm 109 verse 30 just one scripture i will greatly praise the lord with my mouth yea i will praise him among the multitudes god told me as we praise him and thank him these three days that he will do the incredible in our lives amen I don't know if I should call this particular name. I love him so much, Frank Edwards. I pray it will be good news all around him. Amen. I love him so much. I love Frank Edwards so much. From the mornings today, I was telling my wife the revelation I saw, but I I stop it there. I stop it there. I don't want to say anything attached to anyone's name. But we pray that God will continually shine the light through him. Amen. And spread the light through him in Jesus' name. Amen. With wisdom, I stop there. Because I'm not good at calling names on the altar. But this particular one I called. Let me just stop it that halfway. No disaster will happen in his studio. Amen. No evil will happen around him. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So on Monday, appreciate God. On Tuesday, appreciate, appreciate God. God. On Wednesday, I appreciate God with fasting and come here on Wednesday closing the fasting don't close your fasting without the sacrifice and you will see what God will do in your life in the name of Jesus Amen. on that Wednesday I will give you an instruction what you will do and as you appreciate him in the midst of multitude you will not lack Amen. Amen. in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. hello God bless you Rigod. even as you are closing your fasting today and you are doing other prophetic exercises this is pastor mark miracle and i want to use this opportunity to appreciate those of you who has committed yourself to the church building that is ongoing few days back we did upload a video here where god blessed us with some uh, a space where we are renovating we've been trying and this is the level we have gotten to we are trying to put the ceiling we are trying to put the ele ele uh, electrical connections and then start putting in the gadgets what is God laying in your heart? Is it telling you to build the altar? This week we are mounting the altar and we are building the altar. Is it telling you to decorate the altar? Is it telling you to buy the gadgets? Is it telling you to invest in buying the sound system? This is the house of God. And God indeed will bless as many who is committing themselves. And I want to appreciate those of you who have sent in seed already in this prophetic work we are doing. Let me let you know, you can't build the house of God and God not build your family and God not build your house. Use the account details displayed and do the needful as God has spoken to you. And I want to speak from the depth of my heart that God will bless you as you commit your token to this building where prophecies bring out from. May God meet you prophetically at the point of your need for all of your prophetic for all of your problematic situation. May there be a prophetic solution instantly to as many who commit themselves to sow a seed, a sacrifice to this altar, I will pray directly for you. Drop a message through the numbers scrolling and I will give you a prophetic prayer. Speak a quick word over your life via WhatsApp and this year we turn around for you. God bless you for partaking in building the temple of God. God bless you in Jesus name. I'm sure you have heard everything Pastor Makwedako have said concerning our country Nigeria and everything he said is going to be happening he has he spoke about flood he spoke about some other things that i believe that we should take serious things that we should pay serious attention to some of us i know that when we speak about nigeria like this you you because you don't like nigeria i don't know the beef some of us have with nigeria but i understand your sentiment things are not going on well right now in nigeria but it's not enough reason for you to say that whatever ever want to be for nigeria that it should be for nigeria some of us even go as far as saying that there is no country like nigeria that nigeria is finished nigeria is gone see we are all nigerians and we need to come together and try as much as we can to fix our country nigeria let us forget about every other thing for now and try to fix our country nigeria a lot of people are going through stress a lot of people are going through frustration a lot of people are starving a lot of people are dying people are sick in fact 
things are not going well in the country. Pastor Mark Miracle said uh, also mentioned that a point will come where it is only quack doctors that will be seen in Nigeria. Honestly, that will be very, very dangerous and it is scary. Let us do well to pray for our country in Nigeria that God should avert these prophecies, that God should uh, remove all these negative things that wants to be for our country in Nigeria because. We are already going through a lot. A lot of people are already stressed. We don't need more stress in this country at this time. Please let us do it to pray for our country, Nigeria. I am begging all of you. Put, come together. Let us pray. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Nigeria needs prayer. We cannot do this by complaining. We cannot save our country, Nigeria, by lamenting. We cannot make Nigeria progress or help Nigeria progress by typing and commenting online or by insulting people online. It will not work. Let us come together and pray for our country, Nigeria. And as we do so, I know that everything is going to be better. Nigeria is going to be bigger. Everything is going to work well. The Bible said that all things work together for them that love God. So please, let us do well to push, to help make our country push in the right direction, move in the right direction by praying for our country. Thank you so much for doing that. Please don't forget, share the video on social media platform, share with your friends and others. Like I said, some prophecies you don't listen to it and keep it to yourself. It is important that we share the message. It is important that we share the prophecy. It is important that we let people know what, about what God is saying concerning our country. Thank you so much once again. Please don't forget, like the video and drop a comment. By doing this, you trigger the YouTube and to continue to recommend the video to more people. If you are returning subscribe, I want to also so say thank you to you. Thank you for always stopping by to watch our video. We love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel. May God bless you. May God reward you. When you call for one, may millions answer in the name of Jesus. Please don't forget also subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell. So whenever I post another video, you'll be notified. God bless you as you do so. I'll see you in the next one. You are blessed. I have good news for you. Your week is being written. I am what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.